What's up guys? This is gonna be, I guess, my intro to getting into Ruby on Rails. It's kind of a new framework I've been exploring to build my own apps and just create actual applications on the side rather than just doing stuff like WordPress or marketing related sites. Uh, but I figured I'd, sh I'd share the, I guess, the journey of getting started in Ruby on Rails and becoming kind of an, a novice uh, developer, front end developer, designer, and just start to build out small sites and uh, scale them where we want to um, and integrate new, um, what are known as gems and stuff into the picture to essentially get used to the software, learn, learn from it, and also teach others if they're interested in learning as well. Right now, Ruby on Rails is kind of an older framework. Uh, many people are probably on board of like the JavaScript kind of stuff, so it'd be more I guess taking a step back and revisiting older platforms, but in my mind, it's not a uh, unheard of framework to use. A lot of businesses and companies already are using it. Uh, a lot started with it. Twitter, for instance, or GitHub was on Ruby on Rails for a long time. Uh, the same is true for um, uh, Shopify, stuff like that is all written in Ruby. And Ruby is a really approachable language for a beginner developer. So I really enjoy the cleanliness of it, I guess, compared to something like uh, PHP or JavaScript. It's definitely almost magic how things work, but they work really well. So this is just an introduction to that. And I wanted to kind of invite you on board, follow along. Uh, the next part of this will be Kind of getting familiar with what you need to run Ruby on Rails on your system, depending on if it's a Mac or a PC. I'll kind of walk through at least the Mac portion. That's what I primarily develop on. Uh, there's a lot of good guides online that I'll probably just walk through with you and just kind of point you in the direction that I went. And then we'll go from there. So hopefully you're, you're on board with this. Kind of going to do like a build so many apps in so much time kind of playlist. So. If you're interested in getting familiar with Ruby on Rails, I recommend just getting in and um, building stuff right away. You're gonna you're gonna hit hiccups. You're gonna get a lot of errors, but it's nice to um, at least learn from those mistakes. So when you do build the app that maybe you're wanting to build later, it's easier to do. And then also, I did all this research and choosing a framework thing with an idea in mind, uh, which. Uh, I'll be announcing soon. It's kind of a side project, but it's also a, like a another kind of video based screencast thing. I won't announce it in this video because it's not really necessary, but I'll probably do more of a, just a single launch video for that. So look for that to come, but it's written in Ruby on Rails. So that's a big reason why I learned all this and, you know, I'm going to share with you what I learned and what I know. I'm no expert by any means. So don't take what I say with a grain of salt. There's plenty of documentation online um, and better developers for sure that do like things like test driven development, all that stuff to where they write tests before they actually code the feature. So when they code it and it works, the test pass probably won't get into a lot of that just because it's kind of not my forte. I'm not exactly a huge programmer, I'm more of a designer, but I wanted to get my hands dirty and build my own app. So I think Ruby on Rails is a great start to do something like that. So I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.